And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. For those of you looking for some warmer weather, well, you don't have to wait too much longer. We are anticipating a warm up as we head into next weekend. So yes, a couple more days, but Climate Prediction Center for the six to 10 day outlook as we go from the beginning of April, showing a nice area of above average temperatures heading in here. Highs likely getting into the upper 50s and lower 60s. Today, not the case, at least for our area. You had to head down south. Chicago 65 near 80 degrees in St. Louis. You could think a warm front that stalled just to the south of Wisconsin for providing some spring like warmth where we were on the cold sector of that. A lot of cloudy skies, gloomy conditions, quite a bit of fog out there this morning. But then as we headed into the afternoon, that's when we did see start to see a little bit of sunshine as we do take this full screen. As we get into the late evening hours, this rainfall is going to start to transition over to some snowfall as temperatures continue to slow fall down. We're down to 32 freezing Mark in Anago, upper 30s in Green Bay, 40 degrees even in Oshkosh. We've got upper 30s along the shoreline and lower 40s across down into the southern Fox Valley. Winds coming in out of the east and southeast at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Not strong, but they are going to be picking up tomorrow, folks. Take a look at it out of the northwest gusts near 35 to perhaps upwards of 40 miles per hour at times as some of this cooler air works its way in here. But it's going to be short lived because by Monday we are going to warm things up thanks to this high pressure off towards the west. So here's the storm picture right now. We've got two areas of low pressure, one weaker one that's eventually going to get absorbed by this parent low pressure. This one providing a bit of severe weather down to the south over the Dixie Alley, which they have been pummeled round after round of strong storms, large, dangerous tornadoes. They've got an enhanced risk of severe weather uh, south of the Tennessee River Valley, where we have right now tornado watches in effect, and where you see the little white boxes that's representing tornado warnings right now. We have a severe thunderstorm watch up towards the north and also off towards the east as well near Riley, North Carolina. As for us, we're on the cold sector, and as I'm talking about cold sector, yeah, there was some snowfall in parts of the arrowhead of Minnesota today. Some folks in northern Minnesota picked up anywhere from about three to five and a half inches of wet, heavy snow. I'm sure we're starting to turn the page looking more towards spring like weather, not having to bring out the shovels anymore. And it doesn't look like a major amount of snowfall, but up towards the Northwoods could pick up one to two inches. We're even starting to see a little bit of a transition of a wintry mix into the Northwoods areas. The rest of us anticipating rainfall, at least for the next couple of hours. As we head into the overnight, this low pressure moves off to the east. We got some cold air wrapping around it. That's going to transition rain over to snowfall. Then as we get towards Monday, an area of high pressure down to the south moves in here. We get in the return flow and with a warm front up to the north, that's going to provide us some gusty winds out of the southwest. That's going to bring our temperatures back up to near 60 degrees. But then a cold front moves in here Monday night into Tuesday morning. We were hoping to have two days of 60s with this cold front holding off just to the west a little bit longer, but it looks like it arrives here early Tuesday morning, provides us with maybe a few sprinkles of some rain showers in our area, and then temperatures will only be right around 50 degrees on Tuesday. So rainfall transitioning over to some snowfall as we head into the overnight hours. You'll see how that snow moves down to the south. This is 545 tomorrow morning, continuing with some light snowfall as we wake up into the morning hours. But look how quickly the skies are starting to clear off towards the west. That turns us mostly sunny by the afternoon hours, and we continue with plenty of sunshine over into Monday as well. So how much snowfall are we talking about here? Not a major amount, anywhere from about a dust sink to an inch for most of us. But you see into the far Northwoods areas, that's where we could be picking up anywhere from maybe one to as much as two inches of wet, heavy snowfall. So for tonight, we'll drop down to 32 northwest winds, 10 to 20 miles per hour with that wintry mix turning over to some snowfall tomorrow, getting up to high of 43 winds becoming breezy gusts 35 to near 40 miles per hour. And the temperatures do continue to warm up by Monday, mostly sunny 62. Then we start to cool things off with the chance of some light rain showers on Tuesday, high 50, only 35 on Wednesday. But then we go back into some spring like weather. So just one and done back to near 62 degrees as we head into the Easter weekend. Kelsey. Looks and feels like spring always a little bit unpredictable there. Thanks, Gino.